Hello and welcome to this reaction of Supergirl. This is season one, episode one. Also named Pilot, because apparently that's what CW loved doing. Uh, but the this is it. This is where the Arrowverse starts branching off between other shows. Uh, it's going to get crazy. Like I said, it's, it's going to seem out of whack for a couple weeks, because there's no Arrow this week. Uh, I've been digging the shit out of Arrow. This, this season's kind of interesting to me. I, mythical and magical stuff is, is, is wild, but um, I know the only thing I know about Supergirl is she's Superman's cousin. That's it. That's all I know. I know nothing else about her, so this is, this is going to be fun. Uh, I'm going to learn this show and the characters as we go along. Uh, you know, because at least Barry, I had, I had a, a little background about. I knew. I, I read the, the Flash comics a lot when I was a kid. Now, I'm, I, we're talking, you know, 25 years ago, so it's not like I remember them completely, and I have the memory of a goldfish lately. Um, and I knew the Arrow was an archer, and I, you know, I didn't so much read some of the comics, but after the first season, I did, I did read up on them a little bit, and, you know, I, um, I read a few. So, I mean, but that was 2012 or 13 or 14 or whatever when it came out, so... I had a, a general idea about him. Nothing about Supergirl. Just wasn't my thing. Wasn't my cup of tea. Uh, Superman, sure, but Supergirl wasn't my thing. So this this will be fun and interesting. And like I said, it's gonna go two two Arrowverse shows one week and two the next week, and it's gonna be mixy mashy for a while. I'm just going in the watch order. Link in the description below. So with all that being said, without further ado, get to the show. 24 years ago, my planet, Krypton, was in serious peril. My cousin, Kal-El, was sent to a planet called Earth for his own safety and protection. I knew they were cousins. That's not literally you all I know. You may know his story. Just a little bit. The story you don't know is that I was sent to protect him. Pod's coordinates are interlocked with Cal Els. Okay. You follow him to Earth. She's older. Afraid, father. Oh, she got caught up in the mm. Krypton's destruction sent a shockwave that knocked my pod off course and into the Phantom Zone. A region in space where time doesn't pass. I slept there for 24 years until somehow I got here. Oh, my we don't get a face. Me to have the same safe human type childhood he did. So he placed me with my adoptive family, the Danvers. Scientists who once helped him understand his own super abilities. I know I'm not your mom, sweetheart. Okay. But you're safe here. An online and print empire built by my boss, Cat Grant, the most powerful woman in National City. At least for the next few days. It's a good update. Did you see this? There was online an and robbery print. last night. There were no witnesses except for this homeless guy who swears the perp had horns. Thanks. Like, what was his head? <laughs> an online date. It says we are 82% compatible, so should be good. You, you, you know that you can't quantify emotions based on an algorithm. When your IT is That's in your who? whole life based on algorithms? Yeah, so if there was an algorithm for love, I think that I would know about it. <laughs> Just like you're gonna know when it hits you, Kara. It'll be all... Wow. So has the layout ready? Money. Mm. It's not that I don't see your frown, it's just that I don't care enough to ask why it's there. All those people, they're going to lose their jobs. Yeah. You know, what's going to happen to them, to their families? They don't have to downsize at the Daily Planet. <clears throat> Miss Grant sent me for layouts and she doesn't like to wait. Well, she can wait a minute. Have you met Miss Grant? Yeah, and what's she gonna do, fire me right after hiring me? Her loss. Hey. I'm the new guy. Guess she likes me. <laughs> Oh my God, you're Jimmy Olsen, the photographer from the Daily Planet. James Olsen. Well, Jimmy's reserved for my mom and the big guy. He's kind of stuck in his ways. Um, I, I know what I've was read, it? but... He was in the comics, right? What's he like in real life? Uh, uh Cara Danvers. God, you are so nerdy. 
Anyone ever tell you that you look a little Does like, like him? him right here? Uh-huh. No. No? Hmm. Uh, no, no, you're the first. Uh, thank you. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I'm not living up to my potential. I went to work for Cat Grant because I thought working in a media company run by a powerful woman who actually shapes the way people think would be the way that I could make a difference. But instead, I just fetch layouts and coffee. You always wanted to be normal, right? So having a crappy boss and absolutely nothing to wear, text me every detail from your date and I will call you when I'm back from Geneva. I love you. Love you. I'm glad there was no separation with the family. I do, I do enjoy that. So, where are you Very from good. originally? Like, where was I born? Um, uh, north. Experiencing some loss of altitude. A pilot seems to be circling the city after apparent engine failure. Again, Did he say Geneva? Updated as we learn Alex. More information. <laughs> it's going to take her sister to go? Oh. An apparent loss of altitude is an engine gone. I'm sorry. That engine's burning up. They're clearing the runway. I know we need this to happen, but... Oh, come on! <laughs> Turn it. Or push it up. I love glasses here. Yeah. But you, you had to have been terrified because you had no idea I was coming to save you. I need a drink. Right. Yeah, we need to celebrate. We need no. They're on two different so pages. Long. I almost forgot how to fly. Well, not so much how, but more, more how it feels, like scared, but good scared. I don't want to. This is what I was talking about, Alex. I don't want you born to do. I always felt the need to help people, and tonight I finally got that chance. I didn't travel 2,000 light years just to be an assistant. You should hug. go. Don't say I didn't warn you. Good morning, National City. Our top story. The only story anyone's talking about. Who is... 5'9". It's tough to gauge with their height measured up against an airplane. Hair color brown. Or black. Or maybe your hair is just dirty. You know, from soot. The plane exhaust. James, you make an excellent point. Do you think there's any connection between this hero... I wonder if he knows. ...to my friend in blue? Get me that girl. And Kara. Give me a coffee. Don't get me a lettuce wrap. <laughs> lettuce wrap? I didn't see that coming. That was the first thing he did. Save a plane, I mean. God, he has to know. There's no way kal doesn't Wait, tell him. I need to talk to or you Clark. on the The woman who saved the plane. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, okay, right. You gotta show him. Carl, uh, what are you doing? Not gonna believe hey, you until Carl. you see it. Hey, get, get away from the ledge. You're gonna get a... Believe her now? You're, you're her. <laughs> yeah. I still think Jimmy plane knows. Rescue. Big question, is there a connection Jimmy? between this mysterious flying woman and the man of steel? Hey. Sorry about that, sir. Shadows. But the general's arrival is imminent. Nothing must interfere. The general. You instructed to eliminate the human operatives. You can add this girl to the list. Can't promise her death won't be public. Then missing. Human casualties are irrelevant. Good. 
a superhero, you need a crime. I hacked into the NCPD. There's a car chase on the 112 freeway. I could do a car chase. It's gonna get messy, isn't it? She's gonna make some bad mistakes. Like flying too fast. Aerodynamics, I should have thought Yep, use your hearing. Oh, don't tell me, oh, is that, mm. Welcome to the DEO, oh. the Department of Extra Normal Operations. The DEO monitors and protects Earth from extraterrestrial presence and or invasion. That means you. What we do know is this, you pulled Fort Ross with you. When it crashed, the alien convicts, the worst criminals in the galaxy, they all escaped. Okay, that makes a lot and more you sense. Them here. And they've been around for how long? And no one knew. Powers from your darkest nightmares. That's insane. For over I know you're mad and you're hurt. I wanted to tell you every single day. No, instead, you told me every single day not to be who I really am. You have to listen I to me. I can't. This just kind of feels like one big coincidence, doesn't it? You working here, hunting down aliens, me being one. I, I can't help but think the real reason that you were recruited was because of me. Miss Grant dubbed National City's new female hero, Supergirl. And if Twitter is any indicator, the name appears to be Captain. Twitter. <laughs> Supergirl? Bring back the name, Elon. We can't name her that. We didn't. Right. I'm... And God, what do you think is this. so bad about... <laughs> Girl. Holy shit. Huh. I'm a girl. And your boss. I mean, not and wrong. powerful and rich and hot and smart. So if you perceive Supergirl as anything less than excellent. Streets, the one way streets are so confusing. <laughs> you tell it so much better. <clears throat> uh, Kara <laughs> he knows. convinced her He's source to know. allow us to use a photograph that she captured. If you can hear this, okay. you are not uh, born in this earth. Yeah, I, I, I have a headache. I'm going to some water. Painful, isn't it? The humans of National City will suffer ten times this pain if you don't face me. Meet me at the National City Power Plant. How many innocent people are going to die until you... On my planet, females bow before males. This is not your planet. You look like Allura. How do you know my mother's name? You don't easily forget the name of the woman who condemned you to prison. Port Roz? She was our judge. And jailer. Oh, she was. You can't kill her. It's a killing you will have to do. Just because you wear that symbol on your chest doesn't mean you're him. Fighting him would be an honor. Fighting you is just exercise. You're just swinging. You need some training. Do you actually think that you could stop me? That you'd be able smarts. to stop any of us? You need some training. Trap one, pursue the hostile. Copy that. You got saved by your big sister. You're an asshole. Did you know about my mom? That she was the one who locked up all those aliens? It's why I didn't want you going out there. Showing yourself. Showing this. The Fort Ross escapees would give anything to get revenge on you. I know what you're thinking. Do you? Hey, that this is all your fault. But it's not. Before you came to live with us, I was the star. And then, I mean, how, how could I compete with you? You feeling like less somehow it made you bigger. Made me feel like more. Mm -hmm. 
Now, mm -hmm. the world needs you to fly. He's jealousy. I can't, Alex. Not tied to his. There is no correct path in life. You will lose your way many times. Ooh. What's important is that you find your way back to the brave girl you always were. Be wise. Be strong. And always be true to yourself. Like her cousin, she was sent here too, to help us. And if you want any more of my help, we're gonna let her. I found Vartox. Sir, uh, ma'ams. Where? The sliver of metal you extracted from Supergirl's arm. Vartox's axe has a unique you nuclear Supergirl. thumbprint. <laughs> Satellites picked him up heading towards the city. Make sure you win. I got him. How would you not see that? You still need to do some training. You need to learn to fight. the metal in the axe. Okay. It's powered by a self-generating atomic charge reaching temperatures up to 2,500 degrees. How does that help? If it gets any hotter than that, it's gonna explode. She just has to get close enough to do her thing. Did she do it? <laughs> what are these lasers red? I can't do it. It's why you were sent here. I believe that now. You have to believe it too. I'm the threat. You have no idea what's coming. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Lunch hour. Wait, so the super <laughs> friends are back. We're not calling ourselves that. It's super James? friend. Uh, do you have time to grab lunch? You must be hungry. Probably burn up a lot of calories fighting an axe wielding alien. Meet me on the roof. <laughs> I was trying to expand my own horizon, so as a favor, he asked me to expand them here, National City. Hang out. Be near you. So, so wait a minute. He, he wanted me to do this. Why did he just tell me? Because he wanted you to choose it for yourself. It's the blanket he was wrapped in when he was a baby. Apparently, this cape won't shred. This cape. Have a city to protect. Earth doesn't have just one hero anymore. Now it has me. Now it has Supergirl. It seems she is Alura's daughter. My dear little niece. Of course. My dear she little niece. with her cousin. And much less of a threat than he is to her endeavors. You're wrong. If she's anything like her mother, she will be just as formidable. So, I, I get what they're going for here. You know, the family feud. Her, her, her mother is obviously a twin because they look exactly alike. But you know, how how could she expect to take two of them? I mean, she does realize that that Kara isn't the only Kryptonian superhero on that planet like come on like you're completely ignoring superman who is a trained hero okay um that was a fun start that was really really good uh i i enjoyed <clears throat> sorry i enjoyed the introduction uh how how we met um her as a child you know going to save her her cousin and the the story of how she ended up there afterwards that was that was really cool how she how she got introduced to her earth family and her sister who was protecting her uh because of stuff she knew but also 
now was the one pushing her to do better. R really good story there. You know, they had a little split and then came together as a, a family, which only is probably going to make her stronger, better, having her sister support. So I thought that was really good. Uh, I don't know about the friend yet. I don't know about Cat, Cat or Cat Co. Um, I, I guess I need to see more of of those two characters. Uh, I liked Jimmy. I, I I very much enjoyed how he like played like he didn't know until she revealed herself and did all these things, and that was really really cool. Uh, but I mean, you could see it in the way he was talking to her. Like he just knew, and it's like, oh, you kind of look like him. To just see her reaction so um that was pretty fun um but i need to know more about the hank the director he's an asshole but he he has this um this leadership quality that i've i've known in in you know some of my career where people are just just brash and to the point and sustained and just don't hold back but they're always mentoring and training you in ways that you don't realize it and pushing you to be better I, I kind of felt like he was almost pushing her buttons to be like nah you're too weak you don't need to do this now nah, you're not good enough until that point where he said go win right and then it's like okay you know and then a few minutes later you see uh her sister oh my god i'm gonna have to learn names whole new show whole new names um Oh, Danvers. Oh, what's her first name? Uh, Agent Danvers. I'll just call her that for now. But like a few minutes later, he's like, yeah, you were recruited because of her. Uh, uh, again, very to the point of her question, but then said, you're still here because of you. So, I mean, really, really, really good, you know, character development there. But I cannot, I cannot wait to see where this goes. Um, the little montage of her becoming Supergirl was pretty funny with the no cape, then a cape, you know, and then we need a bulletproof cape and you know the very end getting uh clark or kal-el's blanket so um so she could have a, a a cape that's basically indestructible so really really fun episode i like the start of this uh and i i was into it i enjoyed it it's fun uh it's a little bit brighter again i like the arrow i wish the arrow would have stayed darker longer right i wish I wish his whole arc would have, not his entire arc of like eight seasons, but like, yeah, they're in a dark city and it's a little bit more darker looking even when the sun's out. But like, I just wish his character would have stayed a little bit more on the dark side until, you know, like next season. But um, it is fun seeing, you know, like the Flash is a brighter show and this is a brighter show. And so I can't wait to see how they, they intertwine all these. So. I noticed they mentioned something in this show that they didn't mention the Flash or Arrow or, you know, the Red Hood or any of those guys. I didn't hear anything about Nanda Parbat. Not even in the background. You didn't see, a, you didn't see anything on the, the screen of, like, the Arrow doing his thing in this city. It was just Superman is the only one they mentioned. Now, again, it's a Supergirl, but, you know... I remember in the Arrow, they mentioned something happening in Central City. They talked about the explosion, right? Or uh, they, they mentioned Harrison Wells and the, the, the thing that's about to, you know, basically change the world as it is. They didn't do that yet. Now, I'm getting yet. I know it was season two when they started, like, mentioning these little things. At, or early in season one. But the point is, is you think... With the other two shows going on, there would have been, you know, when she was talking about, oh, 54% of the time they put up his, his photo, or in Central City, the Green Arrow is on TV all the time, or in, you know, uh, Coast City, you know, the Flash is all over the, the blogs, and, you know, we didn't get that, so it, it kind of makes me curious why they didn't mention it, and maybe they will later on, maybe next episode or episode three. Um... I'm assuming they'll meet at some point and maybe they'll explain it then, but just I would have expected something. A, a, just a name drop. Even from the director, like hey, we can't stop you know, we can't stop you know, aliens from coming to our planet. It's, it's already happening, but metahumans are 
a problem too. Not even mentioned. So makes me curious. Very curious to see where it's gonna go. And I had a lot of fun. Um, I I, I can honestly got to talk about this for a good like twenty minutes because this was really, really a good episode, a good pilot episode as it's named. And uh, I, I'm like I'm suckered into the show already. Suck suckered, Pfft, sucked. Words are not my forte. Um, but see where it goes, man. I'm excited. Hope you guys enjoyed this one with me. Like, share, subscribe. Hit that comment button. Until next time, take care.